Dr. Mori for Uncivilized Vitality and today we're going over another one of the families of uncivilized tech or tools uh, as outlined in your student handbook. This one's going to be about the sling and spear. These are tools for uh, the procurement of food, i.e. hunting, uh, and or self-protection. So we've got a few um, archetypes of that category here. The first of which is the actual sling. Um, probably one of our oldest ways to uh, hurl projectiles at uh, enemies or and or food basically hunting made this one out of paracord and a, just a piece of cowhide um, These are good. I wouldn't really rely on a sling to hunt with or you're gonna be real hungry But it is kind of the archetype of the tool and they're fun to learn and you can make them out of uh, They're just very simple to make uh, Another sort of step up from that would be the the slingshot and this is just my little slingshot bag I carry extra um, extra bands in here, extra pouches, some ammo. Uh, this is probably my favorite daily carry slingshot. This is the, I believe it's the Hornet or the Stinger uh, from Zachary Fowler at Fowler's Mischief and Makery. Uh, great slingshots. Just great. This is an over the fork. Just tie it on there. I've got a couple of cold weather bands, but this is my, uh, my slingshot. I take that up for small game uh, or just kind of for plinking around sometimes for fun. I wouldn't use that necessarily as a self-defense weapon. Same thing with the sling, uh, notwithstanding um, David's good luck with Goliath. Uh, the other portion of the sling and spear is the actual spear. This is just um, a cold cold steel. So this is their cold steel. Uh, I believe this is their Asagai spear, if I'm saying that right. This is based on the short thrusting spear, the uh, Iqua of the Zulu. Uh, it's got a small shaft about as long as the head. You can get these from Cold Steel. It comes with that uh, Securex, not really Kydex, but molded plastic sheath. Okay. We use this. Uh, sometimes we try hunting with this. Nothing successful yet, but it would also double uh, at this length as a self-defense weapon. Okay, so sling and spear for protecting yourself. The spear is probably our oldest tool, a pointy stick to kind of go along. The um, Another more of my favorite spear. This is my <clears throat> personal spear from uh, Zombie Tools. So this is the Spit. This is a one piece solid metal with some aluminum scales and a leather wrapped uh, handle. So this is the Spit. This is the same thing based on that uh, Iqua or um, a Sagai short thrusting spear. You could use sword techniques with this. It's good for in close fighting. It's not really a throwing spear like a javelin, but uh, uh, you could if you had to. But this is sort of a modern version of a, of a spear. Check out zombie tool stuff. These things are uh, practically indestructible. Great home defense weapon. Uh, it's fun to take out in the field and poke around. A couple other things that might pass as uh, you would think sling and spear category self-defense weapon. Just a small personal straight blade knife. Uh, again, this is my LT Wright Great Plainsman. I would like to say, uh, even as someone that studied edge weapons uh, for a few decades, the knife is not primarily uh, a weapon. It's a, it's a tool for processing wood and food, uh, cutting string and cheese, but in a pinch, you know, as a puncture device, a small fixed blade is a great self-defense tool and could easily fall under the class of sling and spear. Another one that uh, can kind of run both categories is a uh, tomahawk. This is my Columbia River Knife and Tool uh, Berserker. Uh, tomahawk is, uh, doubles as axe, but you could definitely use that as a weapon to protect yourself. Um, couldn't really hunt with it. Some people might have fantasies of throwing this at, at game, but that's not going to happen. So this is primarily a tool. It's my axe. It's one of my cutting tools, same as my knife. but. You could always carry a knife for uh, self-defense. Now, even though this is uncivilized technology, technology evolves uh, from these archetypes, the sling and the spear, to uh, a more uh, modern projectile device. This is my, this is my pistol, or one of my pistols. This is my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield uh, 2.0 in uh, 45 ACP, and it is, this is empty and safe. So this would be kind of a, a modern uh, version of a slingshot or a sling. Um, the modern version of a spear would be something even a little more, uh, little more involved, like an AR-15. 
So this would be kind of the modern version of a spear for hunting and self-protection at a distance. Right? That's kind of a step up for the, uh, the slingshot. I used to hurl stones, now I can hurl small pieces of uh, lead uh, a little further with greater accuracy. And then as far as the spear goes, in close, a small personal knife, can't walk around with a spear, or some kind of uh, steel barrel pen for self-defense. Um, screwdrivers, all sorts of things. Check out the rest of our videos on self-defense, self-protection, and weapon use uh, for more details on how to use these things. But this is a kind of our, our sling and spear family. We use this uh, for hunting and food procurement and for self-defense and protective purposes. The archetypes of human beings being the sling uh, and the actual short thrusting spear. So that's all we have in this video. Uh, check out some other videos to see the uses of these usages of these things, these items and uh, like, subscribe to the channel, and then we'll see you next time.